Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana, known as Beautiful Disaster Nails on Instagram and on YouTube. Today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how I created this Wednesday Adams Nails. To start off, I apply uh, a layer of pill base and what I am using here is the Sundara pill base. It's just like the UNT. Um, my first layer, I'm going to let it dry completely and then I'm going to repeat for a total of three layers. The majority of the dipping process, I am going to speed it up. I doubt that you're going to want to sit here the entire time and see me dip. I'll come back when I have something um, interesting to pop in and tell you. I'm introducing the color Glorious because uh, I wanted my nails to glow essentially. So let's see how that turns out. So as the base for my ombre nails, I'm going to use this color Glorious um, and then I'm going to scrub in, actually before I scrub in, because I'm using a slower drying um, base liquid, I'm patting the color in and not scrubbing because if I scrub, it would just remove uh, whatever color I have underneath. So here you see me actually just patting the color in right around the free edges and that's where I want the uh, black to be the darkest. <music> see me doing here is using the glorious as the um, inside of the halo and um, it wasn't depositing enough color because I believe this goes on more of a clear versus a white so you'll see me in the upcoming clip here uh, when I do uh, switch over from black I'm going to use actually the uh, white diamond just so that I could get more of the halo effect inside This is where you see me scooping up the white diamond, which is just a straight up white. And I'm attempting to get the middle a little bit more whiter. In looking back, what I should have done was when I'm doing a scrub ombre, whether it's halo or just a regular ombre uh, with two very contrasting colors like black and white here, you're going to want to dip the white first, then go in with a clear application, just a clear powder. And then from there, you can ombre in the halo on the outside with the um, black and then come back with the, the white. What that does is by using a clear, it allows you to get a much more natural or just an easier fade. I was struggling, as you can see here, uh, with trying to get the white inside much more white because I think what I, I did was I used a brush that had a little bit of black on it. So that made my base gray. Um, but at the end, I mean, it all worked out. It, it actually gave me a very worn look that I really liked a lot. Um, but this was a lot harder than it should have uh, if I would to just go in with that clear powder.
I always end a halo ombre with the darkest color right on the perimeter, uh, outside perimeter of the nail, and then keeping the inside more uh, faded. So you see me here just running my brush right on the outside perimeter of the nail and the free edge and the cuticle area. Now I'm going to go ahead and dip my other fingers with black sapphire. This is a super rich and pigmented black. One dip is really all I needed, uh, but I always go in with two dips in case I miss certain areas. Um, but this will be my base for the chrome. I do like to chrome usually over a black base uh, so the color can pop out even more. To chrome, you're going to need a no wipe top coat. I'm using Triple D's Delicate Gel and I'm using Phoebe's Duochrome from the Nail Stamping Queen. Um, this is going to give me that purplish background that I'm looking for. When you're applying the top coat, go a little bit more generous on the application. Um, if possible, float the gel on your nail. <laughs> that rhymes. And the reason why you want to do that is that when you chrome, you want your, your surface as smooth as possible, no streaks, no bumps, things like that. After you're done, you're going to flash cure your nail in the lamp. Everyone's lamp is going to be a little different. I would go ahead and experiment with that. But for my lamp, I have a 60 watt lamp and I flash cure my nail for 15 seconds and that's a perfect time frame. So after you flash cure it, come back, take a eyeshadow brush and take a little bit of chrome pigment, you don't need much, and kind of buff it into your nail. After you're happy with the chrome, pop it back in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. After it's cured, take a duster brush and dust off the extra chrome. You're going to want to repeat the process one more time. Give it another coat, cure it in the lamp uh, for your quick flash cure, and then come back and apply another layer of the chrome pigment and buff it in really good. And you, you're going to start seeing that shine there. The buffing is key. Look how shiny that metallic is. I just love this look. Now seal it in with a layer of top coat. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm gonna be painting some nail art uh, on top of this. And in the event that if I mess up, which sometimes I do, um, I can quickly wipe it off and it's not gonna disturb the chrome. Taking some white stamping polish, and I'm going to use my liner brush from Magpie. We're going to paint the spider web. Drawing a spider web is a lot easier than it looks. I had watched a bunch of different YouTube tutorials, and um, this is my first time actually attempting it. Now, what I found is the easiest for me is to draw these lines first and then come back and connect the the webs draw draw on the web and then connect them I 
had to work fast because me using stamping polish, it dries rather quickly. Um, so I had to really, really uh, move fast because the polish on my palette and on the brush, it was starting to already dry. In looking at the design, I wanted the lines on the outer to be a little bit longer. So I rested my finger on this dip powder jar here, and then that gave, gave me a little bit more control on drawing the lines. I was trying to draw it at first with the my finger hovering, and it was shaking. It was just not working for me. This has got to be my most used sub bag item I've gotten from Sparkle & Co or in any kind of sub bags. I reach for it all the time when I'm needing a black nail art polish. Going in with one of my larger dotting tools, I am going to use this to draw the body of the spider. I start with laying down a dot and then I'm swirling around in a circle to make it kind of more oval. Uh, but I found this is the easiest way to achieve even like a circle. Um, use a dotting tool and just kind of like move it around until you get the shape that you want. Now we're going to draw the legs of the spider. I don't know if it has arms, arms and legs, I guess. Uh, but I looked at pictures of what a spider should look like, and I just kind of like mirrored that. I mimicked it. When I went back to extend the legs, it was a little messy. So I went in with some acetone, removed part of the legs, and I just fixed it. For my pinky and middle finger, I'm going to be using the decals from Poshy Nails called On Wednesdays We Wear Black. I'm trimming away all the white areas just to leave the image. Soak the detail in some water for about 15 seconds, and I'm using my Poshi Stamper, and this is how I apply all my decals, along with the Sticky Base Coat from Maniology. I love this stuff. So while your decal is in the water, go ahead and apply a layer of the Sticky Base Coat. It should roughly take about 15 seconds or so for the Sticky Base to dry enough. You don't want to apply the decal when your sticky base is too wet because it's going to slide right off. Uh, but you don't want to wait too long because then the sticky base kind of goes away. Now taking your decal, putting it on your stamper color side down and just slide the back right off. And I just take a lint free wipe and I blot the excess water. What I love about using a clear stamper is you can see exactly where you're going to place the image. When you're ready, line up your image to your nail. 
press it all the way down and then rock it back and forth and there you go I noticed that I have a little bit of wrinkles on my nail there and um, I'm not going to try to release the wrinkles only because it might rip so I'm using the stamper to just kind of press it down a little bit more but at the end of the day um, a little bit of wrinkle is not going to affect the decal. It's going to hardly show as well. I'm cutting out the striped decal so I can use it on my pinky. Dip the orange stick into the acetone and just run it around your cuticles and it should melt the excess uh, decal straight off. Taking a flat cleanup brush, I'm going to dip it in some acetone. Remove some of the acetone so that you can control how much product you have um, on your nail. And then just kind of clean up your cuticle area and then also remove the extra decal on the free edge and side walls. I notice I took off too much of the tip there and one way to fix it is just take a, a Sharpie, a Micron pen, whatever you have at home and just kind of fill it in right there and no one will even notice. Now that we're all done, you're going to want to gel top coat all of your nails to protect the design. We're all done. What do you guys think? I am absolutely in love with this design. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next video.